Hello, my name is Emil Big Jumake. I'm a recent graduate of Dev Code Camp. I'm currently in active duty Air Force, working as a biomedical equipment technician at Magdil Air Force Base. I'm planning to separate on May of 2022. Prior to this bootcamp, I had uh, some experience with programming, specifically in C++ and Java. Due to the fact that I'm also uh, attending St. Louis University for my bachelor's degree in software engineering. The reason why I decided to attend bootcamp, it's uh, due to its strong web development program, flexible hours, and of course, VA benefits. Dev Code Bootcamp was one of the hardest, but yet rewarding trainings that I had to endure. Therefore, I want to do something really special. And I created Kaleidoscope Travel. This is an app that allows you to search uh, restaurants, hotels, attractions, um, tours, also allows you to book a tour, all within your search criteria, making your travels uh, and exploring so much more easier and convenient. The technologies I used for my project were MongoDB, Express, React, Node, HTML, CSS, Material UI, Adobe XD, Postman, Axios, GitHub, Rapid API, and Google Platform. Now, without further ado, let me show you my app. This is a login page. You can register a new user by providing your full name, email, password. But for the sake of this demonstration, you will use the existing profile or login. Once you log in, you will see Kaleidoscope Tour and uh, my favorite quote, travel because money returns, but time doesn't. And uh, my name, you can log out immediately once this map populates, it populates the area uh, where you're currently located at. But let's try something different with you, New York. New York, and here you have it. It populates a map of New York. And all these restaurants um, have the high ratings. You can search uh, by different, here you can filter your search by amount of stars, or you can do something different like hotels, which shows you all the hotels. Uh, you can also interact with the map too. You can uh, move it around, which would also, as soon as you move your map, it immediately populates a different listing because um, it, the amount of uh, the search uh, right here, the listing, it provides you by the, uh, this balance of this map. And it also shows you the map, uh, the weather as well. And you can do attractions. On this side, uh, the side of uh, your listing, you can see the price, uh, reviews, all the previous uh, awards that this place won, address and contact information. You can go click on this link, uh, which takes you to uh, TripAdvisor. Or you can click on this link, which takes you directly to their website. At the bottom right here, you have your profile page. Here, you can upload your uh, picture. You can edit the profile, put your name, and anything you want to share about yourself. On this side, this is the list of the available tours. Uh, let's uh, take, for instance, this one. This is a common section. Uh, this where you'll see a title, description of the tour, uh, method of payment. You can add, on the on description area, you can add anything you want. Here, you can also add uh, any comments you want. Let's put something random for a placeholder. We'll do save, and you will see it at the bottom. It already posted there. You can book a tour. Once you book a tour, it comes to here. It populates on this listing. Let's say fishing adventure. You go to fishing adventure, it takes you to the message board. This, again, it shows the description of the tour. But now you can directly message to a tour guide. Uh, let's say you write some sort of message. Press send, and you will see your message populated here. And of course, uh, you can register your tour. You can, you can provide a tour title. For instance, um, hunting safari. Safari for description, we just type in something random. And for city, let's do Tampa. Tampa. 
this is where I'm currently located. And submit. Once you submit it, you have to refresh the page. Log in. And there you have it, you have a hunting safari. Right now there is uh, no comments because we just populated it. There is a description. This is a placeholder we just randomly typed in. And this is all it is. For my future iterations of this project, I would like to add a, a payment method and also have the friend component where you can add a, a different users uh, to your friend list and to see um, their adventures. Well, I hope you enjoyed my project as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, goodbye.